Now, your weather forecast with meteorologist Brandon Lashbrook. Well, even though we saw a lot of cloud covers throughout most of the day, kind of hiding away that sunshine that has made for a beautiful sunset this evening. Most of the colors kind of beginning to fade a little bit, but nice golden hues there on the horizon. Now, the door temperature wise, not too bad into the 60s, so on the cool side still, even though today I think we hit 70 degrees for the high temperature here in Baton Rouge. So tonight, our overnight lows again on the somewhat chilly side into about the lower to mid 40s out there for most of the area. But we'll have, actually have a chance for some patchy fog, a possibility after midnight through the early morning hours as well. So heading up early for that Friday morning commute. Use extra caution on those roadways if there are areas of some limited visibility. But that will be quick to lift out as we go past sunrise tomorrow afternoon, or tomorrow morning rather. And then tomorrow afternoon, another beautiful day out there. High temperatures, although a touch warmer into about the lower 70s across the region. But unlike today, tomorrow we'll see a lot more sunshine out there with mostly sunny skies for a really beautiful and dry day in terms of rainfall for your Friday, which is of course great weather for the crew of Artemis kicking off tomorrow at 7 p.m. with nice conditions out there. Temperature is in the 60s, low 60s by uh, time to roll off the parade. So again, beautiful weather for the parade tomorrow. But we can't really say that the same for our Saturday parades out there, unfortunately. So on the future track, here is about tonight. We'll see those high level clouds that we're seeing out there right now begin to move to the east, have a chance for that light patchy fog a possibility. But tomorrow afternoon, mostly on the clear side in terms of clouds out there and dry too. Until we get to about Sunday, our in-house model is actually showcasing some of this light rain kind of beginning to move in around daybreak or so on Saturday morning. And then we'll see kind of increasing coverage throughout the morning into the afternoon hours. And then most model guidance is pretty in good agreement that we'll see a likely a band of maybe a moderate to heavier rainfall off to the west moving into our area roughly around that late afternoon to early, at, to early evening time frame. So here's about 5 p.m. or so. Now mostly uh, storm activity should be near and offshore. Can't a lot, maybe a couple of rumbles of thunder over our area, but not expecting any severe weather with this. Mostly going to be some heavy rainfall during this evening time frame. But as you go toward the late evening hours to the overnight hours, that's when the heavier rain begins to move out here, and then we're on the more drier side overnight. Now, this is as far out as our in house model goes, but there's a chance for some light showers still lingering into our Sunday, maybe into portions of our early Monday morning before we clear out of here by Monday evening. So, those parades. The early day parades at 11 a.m. for Jim Springs, 1 p.m. for Gonzalez. May see that light rain out there, but notice rain chances will be to increase as you go throughout the afternoon. So make sure you do bring that rain gear for sure. And outside of rain, it's going to be rather breezy out there too, with wind gusts possibly gusting to about that 20 25 mile per hour range. Now, on Sunday, a little bit better of a parade day out there, although can't rule out maybe a few lingering showers as well, but not expecting anything heavy rainfall wise for our Sunday for those parades. That does not include the rescheduled crew of Orion. Now, it's 30 on Sunday now. So tomorrow another warm and dry day out there until rain comes through on Saturday. A few light showers still possible on Sunday into your Monday and then we are clearing out of here by the work week by Monday evening or time frame and then cooling off a little bit to the 60s still on the kind of near average side for those high temperatures but mornings back on the kind of chillier side next week into the lower 40s hitting 41 degrees by Wednesday morning.